Most people may me not believe in love I wanna marry him Most people may me wanna give up I wanna breathe for him Oh god, there's that music I'm a Valentine, yeah, I need that What's up everybody, I'm a Valentine here I'm about to go to the gym at 6.22 a.m. Let's go. I did not mean to have a flash one, so sorry about that. I just wanted to show off it, but the lights are out. I can just turn on one. Like, this is the fit. You got one white sock, one black sock. This thing. Um, what is this? A jacket this time. And then these because I told myself I don't want to be cold. I'm probably going to be cold because. You know, but at least I gave myself this today, so we should be good. Let's go. Cool. So I didn't finish it yesterday. I woke up and um, yesterday I came home and I read my book for like an hour, maybe like probably less than an hour, and um, maybe like 35 minutes actually. <laughs> Why is this so blurry? Oh well. Um, and then I got in my bed because I had a few minutes left before I told myself I would go to the gym for the second time yesterday. Um, and I fell asleep. Like, I got in the bed in my gym outfit and then literally went to sleep. And woke up at, like, 9.30 or 10.30 and was like, damn, that's charged. You know, like, what am I supposed to do now? So, um, okay. so you have to charge that. This morning I was supposed to get up at five and come here, but I don't know how, but like my sleep brain talked myself out of getting up. So like, if you get up now, you're going to be tired for the whole day and then you're going to fall asleep again like yesterday and like, you're not going to get anything done. Sleep brain, hush, girl, hush to get up and do the shit you need to do. But somehow at six, I was like, oh, uh, give yourself some grace, you're a human being. You're trying to change all this, but you know, have some self-compassion. It's not like you do it on purpose, but it's not gonna be every day. I still just go. And then I said to myself, yesterday's a mystery. Uh, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, today is a gift. And then I Googled the song Mirrors by Justin Timberlake and the song Magic by Riley Dick. And I told myself, we're not listening to that statue today. It's gonna be a good day. So, water, let's get it. Back home, um, I wanted to show you all the fit of the day because these fits just never get enough light of the day. Um, cute jacket that I've had for a good minute. And then of course, most of the day, I was um, in my work clothes. Which is this, but I have to get right over it. This, and I feel really nice. Like, I feel like I'm losing weight for sure. Um, I'm trying to figure out my whole eating thing, as y'all saw in the last vlog, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Um, I'm about to go to the gym again. I went earlier today, but just want to keep the momentum going, um, keeping myself in motion, basically. I'm probably going to have a point where I stop going twice a day. Um, I don't necessarily really have to do that this week, but I just feel like it. And then I want to go to the store and get a little snack for myself that I'm craving. But yeah, feeling good, feeling pretty. I've been putting on mascara and funny enough, I feel like that is adding to my confidence. Just the mascara itself. Um, so yeah, I just had a coffee and... Feeling good, feeling good, feeling optimistic. No, oh, new fit. I put the socks over it because it's cute. And then I'm actually wearing a matching thing. What's it called? But, you know, basically I was reading this article last night. They were saying like, you don't have to show everything. You know what I mean? Like don't show more skin than necessary at the gym. So I'm still in this a bit. Anyways, um, <laughs> um, going to the gym, I put in like two of these mint things. I have this thing called like Lively. 
lively up and so it like burst it actually bursted onto my other mirror so i had to wipe it off um with a sock because <laughs> i was like what's the closest thing <laughs> i was like i'll just use this old sock so yeah anyways time to go wish me luck i'm always scared because it gets so fucking dark at night now but i have to be fit i have to feel hot i have to feel good about myself and oh sorry it's a necessity and it's kind of at that point where i'm like bro literally whatever it takes Whatever it takes, I have to do it. I have to make it happen, you know? So let's go to the gym. gym. And this was my dessert that I got. I already ate it. There's three packs in there. Freaking delicious. Um, but for some reason, I really want some orange juice today. I know I should have some yesterday. Probably should have some this morning, but any time of the day. I feel like anytime I have um, vitamin C, I wake up the next day and my skin looks so freaking bright. It's like crazy. I really worked on arms um just now arms and abs which feels great um i did leg stuff this morning i feel like i was exhausting myself like i think because i've been <clears throat> pushing myself like i don't know if my body just wasn't catching up but maybe it's because i wasn't having as much caffeine along with that but like y'all know yesterday I, I slept so much and so how do you wake up from sleeping like let's count how many hours that was so I was sleeping about six so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five six twelve hours of sleep twelve hours of sleep you wake up and you still feel tired like that doesn't and I know the thing sleep inertia and I think that might have been what it is but and that might be part of it I think another part of it is what I'm eating so Yesterday I didn't have any protein. I had carbs and fats because I had a grilled cheese and what did I have? No, I didn't. I had a turkey sandwich for lunch with a cup of fruit. So yeah, I did have protein. Then I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't have any energy. But today I had chicken. I had a Chick-fil-A sandwich with a cup of fruit on the side. Was that the only thing I ate today? Oh my god, I think it was. That and the coffee. Oh, I haven't been eating as much as I thought I have. I don't know why. Then I had, I had two coffees. So I had one coffee in the morning and then I just had that coffee I told y'all about. Now I'm having this. I had those fruit snacks. I think also like me trying to starve myself off of like sugar and caffeine all of a sudden i think my body was like what the fuck like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> and so i don't know i'm trying to figure all that out but at the same time i realized that i have to do shit in a way that it doesn't stress me out to the point of being overwhelmed and then it makes me forget everything i'm doing so like with me exercising i can't overwhelm myself to the point where i'm like fuck everything i'm not even gonna focus on youtube i'm not gonna do music shit that I signed up for. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to yoga anymore. Like, I can't exhaust myself entirely because if I do, then bro, everything's going to go to shit. So I have to like, I kind of know my limits basically. Like, know when it's at that point where it's like, all right, you got to pull back a little bit. Like yesterday, giving myself grace. I woke up this morning and gave myself grace. I woke up this morning and didn't start beating myself up saying, you fucked up. You failed. You went one day. Now you're not going to go again. Now you're going to fuck. Like, no. I'm not doing that shit because I have a lot of things to come to in this world. And if, if one of my core values is being compassionate, then like it starts with me. You know what I mean? Like they say that the most judgmental people judge themselves the most. And that's one of the things I feel like I struggle with judging people. And I also judge myself very heavily. And it's like even asking myself, like, why is this weight sitting on me? What is in my mind that is keeping me in this state of wanting to constantly overeat? What is it that I'm avoiding? that makes me not want to focus on the most important thing in my life, like music. What is that? What is it? What is the thing that's inside of me that makes me hold back from pouring my entire heart and soul into editing these videos and putting these videos out for you? What is that? Whatever that is needs to be uprooted from me and I need God's help. <laughs> I need God's help. And I need God's help. Because I really want to be my greatest version. I want to be my greatest self. I want to come in this world and do what God wants me to do. Whatever it is that is within me 
that's keeping me in this state of overeating and avoiding avoiding my feelings avoiding expressing myself even to music even to my music whatever that is needs to come out of me whatever is inside of me that makes me feel so unworthy unworthy of friendship so unworthy of having people in my life that genuinely just care for me whatever that is within me that makes me feel jealousy of other beautiful women or other beautiful people that makes me feel like I can't have what they have in their life it needs to come out of me bro like <laughs> it needs to come out of me and I I do not want to live in judgment inertia I don't want to live in jealousy inertia I don't want to live in hateful inertia I don't want to live in uncompassionate or discompassionate whatever the word is for that non-compassionate inertia I don't want to live in anger inertia I don't want to live in not forgiving inertia like all of that I want it to come out of me like there was even one point today where I saw myself and I saw how you know my personal frustration with someone makes me want to just be like forget them anyways because we were talking about something where someone that had upset me recently essentially their ways caught up to them in a certain I guess you could say something like that right where it's kind of like they might have to have a certain amount of accountability for it finally right and so in that moment instead of me being like well you know I wish them well amen raw like blah Instead, I was like, well, yeah, they should have been acting like that. And I tried to say that this is why, da -da -da, da -da -da, and I did all that. And even just like immediately after my personal reflection of myself was, is that who I want to be? No. Like, it, it's like, despite that it might have been justified, because that's what I went back and forth in my head. It's like, was it justified? Yeah. Like, was I correct? Yes. But it's kind of like, is that who I want to be? Is that who I want to be? It. The billion dollar Alma, the, the, the Alma that is a leader of all these companies and has such an impact on people's lives, the Alma that goes on stages and travels the world and inspires people and has such an impact and influence on people's lives, is that who I want to be? The answer is fuck no. It's fucking not. And, and it's fucking not. And so it's like, there has to be an internal change, internal shift. There has to, something's gotta shift. What is it, this? Oh, oh, oh. All right, sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. No, but something's got to get because that that's not something that I can look at myself and respect myself. Like, I, I just, again, I was correct. I was justified, but that's not who I want to be. And that's what the problem is. The way I'm living is not, the way I'm living based on the things that have happened in my life is justified. It's correct, it's understandable, but it's not who I want to be. And that's the fucking problem. It's not who I want to be. I want to be somebody that's disciplined. I want to be somebody that's consistent. I want to be somebody that gives their very all to everything that they do. 100%, 110%, 120%. I want to give a thousand percent every day. I want to be somebody that's super passionate and pours into people, pours into what they do. And is that how I've been moving? No, fuck no, it's not. And that's not who I want to be. And that's the fucking problem. So anyways, y'all. <sighs> the fact that this is how oranges taste with no sugar added is amazing to me. God, it's so good. Anyways. I know this is gonna sound wild. Excuse me. After all I've just said, but I'm gonna warm up my pizza <laughs> and we're gonna work on music. I don't know how much we're gonna get through, I don't know how much we're gonna do. We're gonna work on music though. Someone actually just hit me up saying that he wants to link and make a song with me. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, in my head, I was like, I don't link with I don't link with anyone. And so immediately I heard a song in my own head, like, I don't link with nobody. <laughs> no way, I forgot how it goes. Fuck. That was embarrassing, never mind. If I put them in the song, then you'll see it then. But something along the lines of like, I don't even nobody. Um, something like that about like, I don't link, blah, blah, blah. Something, something relatable for the girls, you know what I'm saying? Something relatable 
for the girls. I don't, I don't, ah, and you know, I don't think he meant it anytime. Bitch, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I have to respond and I don't know. I, I don't really know him yet, so. But I mean, he might not have meant anything like this. Like, if you're watching this vlog, you might not have meant anything by that. But it's just my, my first thought was to a song of like, I don't play with nobody, nobody. 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 <sighs> Anyways, let me go respond and eat some food. Start making some music. See what's gone down from there, okay? What's really crazy is how hard I like to not use this tripod, even though I'm so blessed to have it. It doesn't add up. I tried sitting with this hat. Tried sitting behind my seat. It was just... It wasn't going well, but I took a shower. Um, I'm gonna oil my scalp right now. I need to buy more moisturizer, which makes me feel stressed because I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. But now, the, the funny thing is, is that I don't want to spend my money on anything because I want to spend my money on everything. And that's why I don't want to spend money because I want to spend money so bad. I love buying myself stuff, I love going places and having fun. I enjoy it so much and I want to do it all the time. And I get stressed that I won't have enough to do every single thing that I want to do all the time. So I've been getting stressed out. I've been getting stressed out. I'm trying to oil my hair every day because people with really nice long hair do that. And for me, I'm kind of like, bro, when you want to be in fucking Rome, do what the Romans do. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not the original quote, but that's my version of it. Okay, if I want to have the Romans style of hair, I gotta do what the Romans do. The, one, the Romans be oiling. Oiling. So I got some coconut oil. I'm gonna use that. I need to get some more of that too. I need to get a bunch of shit. And all at this time, where I'm supposed to be like saving money because I'm working less, <laughs> I'll be going out more. I will be buying myself coffee and enjoying my fucking days. I was thinking to myself, I was like, should I just spend my savings and like enjoy my life this year? And I was like, well, you know, you always want to be prepared. And I was like, yeah, but I want to live like, like last year, I was in the house so lonely and I had like $1,000 in my bank saved. And it's just kind of like, you know, like how did that benefit me for real? Me being lonely, waiting on someone to like ask me if I wanted to go hang. It's like, I don't like that. I don't want to do that anymore. So I can be proactive and like, I bought myself a ticket to a yoga class next week. And you know, I want to do a ballet thing sign up for that and uh you know try some i need to just try some new things you know maybe go to uh, carowinds for the winter fest i think that would be so fun i could bring y'all with me too oh that's actually a really good idea should be that maybe because it costs it's already expensive to get in the park and i'm gonna be buying shit even though it's like hyped up that price but it might be worth it a day of fun for me for me and y'all you could go on a date. <laughs> Why are we us going on a date? All this time. I think this is good on the oil. I think I should put some teacher oil. Oil. Teacher oil. But yeah, I just want to enjoy my time. Like, I don't want to be cooped up and then tell myself I'll work on my album and then I actually don't work on my album. And I just watch K-Dramas the entire day and eat pizza because I'm sad about my life and I'm sad because I don't have a boyfriend and all that bullshit. I'm not trying to do that this year. I did that last year. I'm blessed, I'm grateful. As far as I know, God's not taking my money or my job away right now. I mean, I know I'm furloughed, technically, for a few weeks, but I wanna be glowing up. I wanna be working out, eating good food, glowing up, and when I go back. Like, I think, just now I was thinking, I was like, I'll grow out my eyebrows even more, cause they're growing a lot right now. I'll grow them out even more. Then, right before I go back, shave them up real good. They'll be like, dang. We lost weight out one day, y'all. Oh, you look good. What changed? I, I gotta stop popping my fucking pimples. I just popped all these fucking pimples. God damn it. But I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm gonna get my little exfoliator. That's the other thing I have to buy. My exfoliating product I just ran out of it. Literally so annoying. All my shit running out at the same time. Damn it. <laughs> but um, it lasted a pretty good amount of time. It's the rice one. I think it's for Derma E. I got the $15 one because it doesn't have that $60 money just yet. We're not there just yet. We're going to get there 100%. We're going to get there soon, too. But, uh, we're just not there yet. Tonight will be an island. I will fall for you. 
figure out what is he gonna take switch places with you know and there's plenty of peace there's the millions of people that will switch places with me for the opportunity that I have to have the body I have the, the skin I have to have the life I have the hair I have like I have to be grateful and you have to be good for you because you know even <laughs> I'm thinking about the J. Paul song right like love yours it's about what you have because God gave it to you for a reason you know what I mean so for me you know yes I have my problems my childhood relations but I also have a lot of blessings like a lot of things to be grateful for so many things and there's plenty like millions of people that would trade places with me in half of a heartbeat and so i shouldn't take that for granted you know like i should be thankful for that and i should remind myself to be thankful for the things that i do have because you know yes i want more but i've had less you know what i mean and i've come from some difficult you know times for just myself you know and i have triumphed but i recognize that god has held me you know what i mean like i held god's hand but god held me and God held my sanity for me when it could have been lost. God held my safety for me when it, I could have had none. You know, God has created a way. Like, it's not cute on the outside sometimes. It's not perfect. It's not something for me to really brag about. But it's something I'm so grateful for. Like, I am so grateful. So grateful. <laughs> ah, super grateful. And uh, you should be grateful for what you have, you know. I encourage that in this moment. See you on the second. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 